Hi Gardeners, this may be the most important fall video that you watch. I hope you will sit down and watch it once or twice because there's a lot of information here. And this is the day we're gonna talk about how to prevent pests in your garden next year. So all season I've been posting videos on how to deal with this kind of pest or this kind of bug that shows up in your garden because there's nothing worse than walking out to your zucchini crop or your tomato crop and finding bugs that are destroying it after all your hard work. The best medicine is preventative medicine. So what we're gonna talk about today is the beneficial nematodes and how to treat your garden with them so you will have as few pests in your garden as possible. Now it's raining today. I don't know if you can hear that as we shoot this video. I waited today to shoot this video because you need to do what I'm about to tell you to do on a rainy day. So what are beneficial nematodes? This is the brand that I buy and I'm gonna provide a link so you guys can buy these. And there are different types of nematodes. And what these are, are tiny microscopic organisms, little tiny worms, and they're parasitic. And different kinds of beneficial nematodes go after different kinds of larva and pupa underground in the soil, where all the pests that were in your garden have laid their eggs for next season. And they're parasitic, so they will attack the larva or the pupa, or whatever egg it is left over from that particular bug, and they will destroy it in their attempt to procreate. And they are voracious, they will eat thousands and thousands and thousands in your garden. So what you're gonna wanna do is figure out what it is that you need to treat in your garden. So I know I had cucumber beetle badly this year. I had squash vine borers. I had some Japanese beetles. I had some other things. So you can go online, check the link, and you can look at the different kinds of nematodes and decide which one is right for you based on what you need to get rid of. So these are the, the different kinds. I'm not gonna tell you what these stand for. These are scientific terms. It does not matter. If you wanna ask me in the comment section, I can explain it further. But really, you're gonna look at each one of these and see which ones they tend to attack and go, oh, I'm really struggling with cabbage moths. And this is the one that attacks cabbage moths. They will sell them in combination. And because in my garden, I saw insects from all of these groups this year, I ordered the package that attacks all three of them. And you can also order by amount, and they will give you some measurements on how big is your garden, how big is the area that you want to treat, and then you order the package on that size. So I have a pretty big garden. I was still able to order the smallest package because I don't have a giant agricultural farm. And this cost me about $35, but it's worth its weight in gold because it's gonna eliminate so many of the pests from my garden. So here's how you're gonna do this. It's gonna come in the mail. You wanna try and time your order to when you know you're gonna have some rain because you don't want your nematodes to dry out. It's gonna come with a little freezer package in it to keep them cold because nematodes, think about uh, yeast when you're baking. It's asleep and you need to wake it up and it survives in very specific uh, circumstances. So it's gonna come in a little package like this and it looks a little bit like yeast. And it's telling me that I got the nematodes that cover these three kinds right here. And it's also telling me how much uh, coverage I'm gonna get, how many million are in here. All right? So you need to do this during very specific circumstances. They will not survive very long below 45 degrees and they will not survive very well above 95. So fall is the best time to do this on a rainy day. If you want really wet soil, and you want the right temperatures for them just to thrive, and you want them to go on an eating binge. You want your garden to be a buffet for all those, those bugs that you don't want. So what I do is I mix this according to package instructions. It will be different for you depending on how much you get. So I think I need five gallons of water to do this amount for my garden. I'll get a Rubbermaid tub. I will release these into the tub and mix it up, and I think I need to let it sit for a few minutes. It tells me you can use a sprayer I never use a sprayer, you don't need one. If you have a really big garden or you're spraying acres, get yourself a sprayer, but I just use a watering can. And once I know that the um, they've soaked in the water and they've kind of woken up, all these little microorganisms have woken up, I'm gonna fill my watering can from the Rubbermaid tub and I'm gonna pour it over all the, in my raised beds and over any area where I know I had any kind of insect damage. Insects don't tend to travel very far. Most animals don't. They, they look for their food source where it's nearby and they won't travel if they don't need to. So this goes for all the furry creatures in your backyard as well. Birds and insects, if they uh, are born, their eggs hatch or they, uh, their mammals they're born, then they will stay near the food source that they find near them and they won't travel unless they have to. So all these insects are gonna wake up in your garden and they, oh, she's planting cucumbers right here where she planted them last year, I'm gonna attack them. So that's where you want to apply. 
So I want you to watch this video a couple times. Make sure you understand. Tell me what your questions are. This is a super uh, impactful way to treat your garden. It's totally organic, um, natural. It's safe for your beneficial insects too. It will not attack ladybugs or katydids, um, but it will do a great job. And then in the fall, you're gonna, or in the spring when you're planting, um, you're gonna thank me because you're gonna see a lot less insects in your garden. So this is very happy gardening.